Erico, and welcome to Solo Sessions, where we cover guitar solos that have not only inspired us, but also have opened up our minds to the way that we write songs and that we construct our solos in Erico. Uh, my selection for today's episode is going to be Steve Ray Vaughan's opening solo for Pride and Joy. It is an absolute mammoth of a blues solo, iconic, so uh, without further talking, we're just going to dive right into this one, man. Let's do it. So there's a few reasons I chose to do Stevie Ray Vaughan's Pride and Joy. Number one, it's Stevie Ray Vaughan. He's one of the greatest blues players of all time. Rest in peace. Huge inspiration to my playing. Secondly, it hits a little bit of a home spot for me. Me and my dad actually used to play this song uh, when I was growing up. It's one of the first songs and one of the first solos I learned. Being from Chicago, I love the blues. I know Stevie was not from Chicago. However, it still hits a home spot for me because it's one of my first. Finally, stylistically, it's such a cool song, a badass riff, great solos, the way that Stevie rides the back of the beat with that opening riff and then starts the solo with some really cool slides, does some great hammer-ons and pull-offs, circles around the tonic coming up to the fifth, and then he does some really cool sliding up to the way he started the solo, some really mean staccato picking, and then circles right back around to that fifth to, to finish his solo in a super sexy way. Yes, I just said that, but it's the only way that I could think of to describe the solo. And then he starts that up swing of what he's doing under the vocals. When he starts singing is really freaking cool as well. So that's a number of reasons I chose it, but I'm anxious to see if you guys do anything differently. So if you play this song or you spotted something stylistically that I'm doing that you might do differently, feel free to comment, let me know, anxious to learn what you guys think and what you guys do. Other than that, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also click the little notification bell. That way you can hear me and my dogs going absolutely batshit crazy here at my house. And uh, you can see what other videos that we post and what other solos we cover. Thanks guys.